ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we went out and uh, did a little bit of fishing today. Right there by the packer here. Uh, we caught a flounder, a gaff top, and a couple of whiting. But anyway, I had to take a couple of fish out of my freezer. Let's go! Got a juvenile red. Check this out. Looks like he swallowed it. Hang on, hang on. Oh yeah, that's a. What is that? A, oh, uh, gap top. Yeah, it's almost not hooked properly. But yeah, that's a. Uh, it needs to be 15 inches. Size. Oh, yeah, he's got a beautiful. Okay. Got a flounder. Oh, yeah. Yep. He's a keeper. We got us a flounder. <laughs> there you go. Here you go, Brad. We got ourselves a filly of soul. In the gap top right there recorded there you go oh good job wish you wish you wish yeah got a red fish but flop, flop got a feeling it's a little bit juvenile he's got a heart he's got a heart i got him nice and gentle because i don't want him to get any more hurt but he's really stuck I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Yeah. Measure it. Let's go measure it. It's a, a baby. Maybe there's a daddy out there. How long has it got to be 20? It has to be 20 and it's not even 17. So let's guess though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there you go. What? Oh yeah! Got another one, but I know it's uh, undersized speckled trout. That's all we've been getting here, a lot of undersized fish. Plus we have a new rule now, 17 to 23 and you're allowed 3. I guess that's what it takes to preserve these guys. Anyway, another one, here you go. Let's go do some filleting. Do a little bit of filleting to start out with the sheep heads.
There you go. I just got that with the sheep head. This guy right here is about 17 inches. With the flounder, they're not very hard at all. You just gotta follow it around. Right there. Yeah, right there. You go all the way down. I used to live in Alaska, we used to do a lot of this stuff. We used to fillet them. The good thing about flounder, you get two on one side and two on one side. Not like the typical, uh, you know, fish that you only get fillet on each side. That's all. Here you get a couple because you have to do it in the middle. Yeah, the white side on the other side is uh, the fillet's a little thinner than the darker side of the flounder. Anyway, that's how I do it. I'm sure everybody else got their own technique, you know. But me, that's how I learned how to do it.
All right, there we go. We got some fish, some tomatoes, some butter, a little garlic salt, little onions, and some uh, lemon. And uh, we're gonna let it cook at 375. And